It is day 27 of 365. Hello. I have a little story that I want to share with you. I was talking to a very close friend of mine two nights ago, and he was telling me about his cat that died, and he was having a really, really hard time. And my friend's a physician, he's been a physician at least for the past 25 years. So death has been a common occurrence in his life and in his career, and he was an emotional wreck, he said, and he said for the very first time, he actually cried. And I was thinking, it's about time. No, 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 no. Okay. I used to date him a really long time ago, and I was just thinking some tears are really good to soften up that heart of his. <laughs> okay, this is coming out the wrong way. Let's get back to the story. I was thinking that him letting out his emotions is a really good thing, okay? So he asked me to go to the Knicks game with him tonight, and I said yes. And this morning, he sends me a message super early, and he said, hey, TT, I'm really sorry. I'm just not better. Can you take the tickets and go with someone else? So I said, sure, I totally understand. I just want you to feel better. And I found myself very, very tempted to say, I know how you feel. I totally understand. I've been there. But I stopped myself. And when I got off the phone, I was thinking, what is it that te was tempting me? Like, why did I feel like I know how he feels? And I'm thinking, okay, my mom died, his cat died, I can relate to death, but no, I am not him. I didn't have a cat that died. So how do I know and how do I understand? And you know what, I did have a cat. When I was a little girl, I had a cat, his name was Tommy, he was a black cat. And when I moved to America, he ran away because we couldn't bring him. But it, I didn't have a cat, I'm not him. Like, what, what was that? So I started thinking about it more and more today and I started thinking about when my mom died and how so many people said, those words to me. I know how you feel. I understand how you feel. I've been there. It's going to be a really rough ride. And, and all of these things that they were saying to me, none of which were helpful. And some of them didn't even have a parent that died. So it was a little strange and it just was not helpful. That was the main point. So where am I going with this? I just lost my train of thought. I was thinking about why I wanted to say that to him. And I, I think this is what I think. I wanted to say it because I want him to know that I can relate, that I understand, and I'm here, and I want to support him, and I want to be here for him. I want to be a good friend to him. And I could have done that, and I, I can do that, by just being there. I don't have to say those words. I, I, I don't have to be relatable. I can just show up as myself. And... I think that's probably why a lot of people say it. And I think there's some people that say, I know how you feel and I understand how you feel because they just want attention. But that's, that's like a whole other topic. We're not gonna go there right now. And I was thinking about this. When my mom died, I was in so much pain that I traveled all around the world that year to any possibility, any healer, any course, anything that I heard that could possibly help heal my heart and move forward, I went to it. And Still then, I could still not say, even though I was in that much pain, I could still not say that I understand and I know how my brothers and sisters felt. And we share the same parents, we share the same, a lot of genetic makeup, a lot of the DNA, uh, same experiences, we lived in the same house, we were brought up together, even with all of that, I could still not say that because I don't know how they feel and they probably felt worse because I'm the youngest in the family. They were with my mother a lot longer than I have been. So when I think about that, and I can't even say that I know how they feel and we have all of those similarities. How can I say that I understand how anybody else feels? I am not them. I don't have the same upbringing, the same DNA, none of any of those things. And I can never say that. So you know what? <laughs> it is so helpful talking to you because I just, <laughs> I, 
I just, uh, that's a little bit of a revelation for me. That's what I can use to stop the nonsense of saying to someone that I know how they feel. And I understand and I've been there because I know that even to my own brothers and sisters, I could never say that I know how they felt. So how, even with, with that closeness that we have, if I can't say that to them because it's not true, how can I go and say that to someone else? It is so helpful talking to you. And yeah, I mean, if it's just being aware and conscious to remove that out of my life. I wanna remove that out of my life, and I don't know if you do it, but I've done it, and um, yeah, I, I wanna stop. And now I have a little tool reflecting back on my family. Anyway, um, I really love talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.